And if you've ever seen a cat living on the streets and wondered how they survived, well, we may have some answers for you. In this morning's Zevely Zone, Jeff visits the Feral Cat Coalition as they prepare to celebrate 30 years of giving. It looks a little alarming, but wait until you see the good that comes from trapping a cat in need. Welcome to Feral Cat Coalition. Three times a week, the Feral Cat Coalition opens their doors to homeless cats. Today we have a total of 29 cats here. This is our anesthesia room. Volunteers trap cats that live on the streets and to my surprise, bring them here. These traps actually have cats in them. And they're feral. They have been humanely trapped by caregivers throughout the county. Lindsay Snook walked us through what she calls spa day. Because they get the works, everything they need. She's getting a mani-pedi? Yes. In the summertime, San Diego heats up, and so does the kitty romance. When it is hot, cats are being forced into heat. Love is in the air. Then kittens are born. This kitty came from Imperial Valley. The coalition estimates tens of thousands of cats are living in the wild in San Diego County. And on to the surgery suite. Here is where the magic happens. Cats are spayed or neutered and given vaccinations. Dr. Sulani Grindle is helping this one with dental care. We're not going to change the entire world, but we changed the entire world for these individual cats. We watched that happen a few months ago. He's a tough guy. Oh, yeah. When we met Benny, the one-eyed cat. Did our story help find Benny a family? Absolutely, yes. Benny is doing fabulous. He's got a home with mom, dad, and um, a couple younger children, and they spoil him rotten. Audrey Stratton says mild-mannered cats get adopted, and those that are too wild get returned to the same neighborhood where they were trapped. He needs a little massage, and uh, this is a feral cat, so he probably doesn't perhaps has never felt human touch before. So this is a rare pleasure for me and for him, hopefully. Volunteers like Pamela Williams are needed. This is love coming through my hands, buddy. And it's just her first day. Well, I love them. I love them. And uh, I think anybody that really knows cats, how could you not love them? I often ask volunteers why they do what they do. Just because cats deserve it. Yeah, they really do. For 62,000 animals in the past 30 years, this place has been the cat's meow. If everybody just did a little, I think we'd be way ahead of the game. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, CBS 8. Could you not fall in love with all those faces? I see a kitten in Evan's future. I don't know if Rebel Evans cat would <laughs> like a little friend, but uh, many times on the back lot we've had sweet kittens, and um, it's great to see that they can have homes and taken care of. Now, the Feral Cat Coalition is also in need of donations and volunteers, of course. If you'd like to get involved and help the nonprofit, click on the help uh, button on CBS8.com.